What's up you guys? I'm Dan. This is Frugal Not Cheap. Today we're going to test out Tesla's full self-driving 12.5.2.1 on a legacy Model S. So I just got the update installed and I'm going to go out for my first drive. It will not be my um, test route just because I always like to give you my honest first reactions to the software uh, rather than having it some time um, you know to think about it and so we will do the test route in the future probably um, and then I know there is actually a version 12.5.4 um, that is kind of in the wings and is arriving in some vehicles like mine um, there's a fellow um, poster on X that just got uh, this version on her Model X up in Canada, 12.5.4, I mean. Um, so who knows how long I'll be on 12.5.2. Uh, but anyway, we'll check it out and see how it does compared to 12.3.6. The big things I'm looking for are whether or not the lane centering is going to be improved. Um, and then also whether the lane indecision will be improved. Um, as you can see here, it says it's going to make better lane decisions in upcoming improvements. So we're not likely, so I don't know. I don't know how much of an improvement we're going to see there, but we shall see. Um, so those are, yeah, those are probably the two major issues that um, that are outstanding right now. If that could get fixed, man, FSD is a heck of a lot smoother and a lot better than it has been in the past. All right, engaged FSD. Nice little nag there, nice large nag on the instrument cluster, letting us know that we need to uh, be paying attention and um, put a little torque on the wheel. Okay, we're waiting appropriately for a vehicle, a little cross traffic, as you can see. All right, a little bit of jerkiness here with the wheel, but overall pretty good. I'm going to try to stabilize this camera for you, but it's a little bit tricky here. You notice it a lot more when I've got the uh, the ultra wide camera on uh, rather than when we're doing the standard. Ooh, all right, we can do it as long as we stay in our lane here. So there's a the car in the lane immediately to our left. That worked out quite well. Got our turn signal on and crossing over. Here's where in the past um, it would be kind of annoying because it would really uh, not get over into the left lane until very late. We did that again today, uh, especially annoying because of this car behind me who's <laughs> being very aggressive. But anyway, that's all right. It worked out. But so far, so good. Um, you know, obviously I would have done things a little bit differently in order to not have that potential altercation with that um, car that just went by on, on to the right of us. But otherwise, uh, otherwise pretty good. It was smooth and um, nothing felt kind of wonky or weird. So this 12.5.2 uh, is supposed to be kind of the reunification of the uh, FSD models between hardware 4 and hardware 3 cars. Obviously hardware 4 cars have a more powerful uh, processing unit for full self-driving to have a more powerful full self-driving computer. Um, so for a while there, um, they built a model that worked well on hardware 4 cars, but um, they needed to do a little bit of kernel work in, in order to have it work on uh, hardware 3 cars like mine. And so it appears that they've done that, and supposedly there's like five times more parameters in the model. Um, when they say 5x, I don't know what the baseline is, <laughs> so, you know. Um, but, but anyway, it sounds impressive, and uh, it is driving better as far as I can tell so far. So I'm not seeing the lane issue right now. As you can see, we're, we're centered nicely in the lane. Uh, I'm not seeing any speed problems. There are people online saying there's problems with the speed that, uh, that FSD drives. And so far, so good for us. So fingers crossed here. I was tempted to initiate a lane change, but um, on this first drive especially, I just want to let the car kind of do everything on its own. Um, I'll let you know that we are on the assertive setting. So hopefully that um, will get the best out of the system. I don't know if uh, assertive or you know average is best, uh, but I like to keep it in assertive. Longtime viewers will know that I gripe a lot when uh, the the car tends to be 
overly cautious, in fact, so cautious that it, it ends up being on, you know, be, becoming dangerous again. So like there's a balance, right, between aggression and caution, um, and you can go too far in either direction and it becomes a problem, especially when interacting with, you know, humans. Uh, this is great. It's uh, technically fall, I guess, but 83 degrees and sunny. I'm very, very glad to be living in Texas rather than uh, back in New Hampshire. Again, good, good lane centering. Uh, one thing with the previous version is that it would get worried about cars like that that looked like they might change lanes or were just kind of veering over into our lane a little bit. Uh, in this case, they did not uh, use their turn signal. So. <laughs> I'm really glad that uh, Natalia caught that. FSD is doing great. Nice little lane change to get around them too. Oh yeah, yeah, things are going very, very well so far. I am keeping a little bit of attention on the steering wheel, of course. And I got my feet covering the brakes, uh, well, and the accelerator, <laughs> just in case. You never know which direction the air is going to be in. But so far, so good. I do hope eventually we're going to have that um, early lane decisions. Because uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, the right-hand lane here is going to end up being closed. So a lot of those cars are going to have to merge into the lane that we're in now. And ideally, we'd really be one lane over to the left. Now, I don't know that FSD knows that. I don't know that how um, far FSD is looking ahead and how quickly it's going to decide to, to do anything. Uh, but as long as we don't end up in the right-hand lane, we'll be okay. So, so far, so good. You can see, a, maybe you can see the orange construction sign up there. But actually, I can't see whether or not the lane is closed or open. But of course, the cameras are a little bit higher up, uh, which is a good thing. They're up in that housing there. So that means they can actually see uh, a little bit further than I can. So yeah, we have the right lane closed sign. Yeah, we got people merging over into our lane. Whoa, a bit of a... Sharp slow down there. Oh, wow, that was a really nice move. So we found a gap uh, in order to change into this lane. And there's a school bus behind us, uh, but there it was not, we weren't doing it right in front of them. So so I, don't, I wouldn't say that we cut them off. Um, uh, someone's honking, I'm not sure exactly what that's all about. But in any case, I thought it went just fine. And it's not um, sort of school hours or anything like that. That ends around four. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, much, much happier with the lane positioning here with FSD 12.5.2.1. Okay, I thought I was applying enough torque, but I guess not. Yeah, no issues with the speed. I've told it to go 40 and we're going 39. So I'm not going to complain about that. It's going quite well. I wonder if that was a car alarm. It was kind of a regular sound. Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're almost at the end of our drive here. We are going to have to get into the left-hand lane here soon. Normally, it would have done that by now. So this is a bit late. Oh, here we go. Huh. All right. Good, good. That's the proper lane selection and uh, decent timing as well. So here we go.
Everything's going really nicely and smoothly so far. Okay, another potential fix would be if it gets over into this left uh, turning lane quickly. Because sometimes, you know, with traffic behind you, oof, jeez. That lady, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> so it actually, it worked out well. We didn't decelerate too badly. And so we didn't get rear-ended by that white car, uh, which, you know, could would have happened if FSD had been driving the way it, it has in the past. I was watching her because, man, she was close. That was sketch. All right, this guy doesn't have his turn signal on, so we're just going to take advantage of it. But he was turning right, so that was good. That was a really great move, actually. I'm, I'm really impressed. All right, and then now we just got to uh, find a parking spot. So I'm going to park and then... Uh, Oh, is it really going to park? What's going on here? Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, it stopped. Um, it did not stop in a in a proper parking spot <laughs> uh, at all. But that's okay. Uh, it was still still pretty fun. All right, guys. So we made it to our destination, and I have to say that FSD twelve five two one did an amazing job. I'm really really impressed. Everything was nice and smooth. Absolutely no issues. If the rest of my drives go anything like this, I'm going to be absolutely ecstatic and really start to get some of the confidence back in full self-driving because as you probably got a sense in my recent videos about it, um, I was starting to feel like progress wasn't really moving along all that fast and it was just kind of odd to me that, you know, there are all these long-standing issues that couldn't be corrected. So, so far so good. Uh, stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.